every time you are on your own you're able to number one be yourself 100 percent. you're able to speak your mind especially when you're around the people you're comfortable with around the people that you've known for your entire life you can speak your mind you can tell them your boundaries you can express yourself but oh heck as soon as you find someone that you deem to be higher than you someone that you put on a pedestal right you just shut your mouth you put yourself in this little bubble and you become the shy version of you you want to please this person so you try to be as agreeable as possible you try not to step on their toes you are literally so good at walking on eggshells if you were to get a trophy for something it would be having the best ability of walking on eggshells that's not cute it's not cute i am here to give you some tough love I am here to save you from a lifetime of disrespect, okay? So if you hear me talking to you in this manner, it's because I want you to wake up. You're probably someone that watches a lot of self-improvement videos. You're probably someone that really, really wants to change but just doesn't know how to. I'm praying this is the last video you have to watch. I'm praying this is the last video until you realise your power. <laughs> until you realise your power your power that you have without me telling you what to do without youtube telling you how you can be um more confident how you can be this put together person you have it inside of you and i need you to understand that i'm not here to make you binge watch my videos i'm here to help you to get the heck off of youtube and go and live your life now i want you to understand being a nice girl nice girls finish last and you've heard this many times but you don't listen you seem to think that being nice is going to gain you some kind of credibility in society but you don't see the other side of it you know how we only see things from our eyes we don't see things from what other people see when other people look at you they see you as someone that is easy they see you as someone that can is okay with anything because you haven't set any boundaries with them you haven't told them what you like and what you dislike you've just said oh it's fine you know the common things that a people pleaser someone with nice girl syndrome would say is oh it's fine oh it doesn't matter oh it's okay i can help you when you know deep down you are burning and the problem with this is that you're building up so much resentment towards whoever it is that you've agreed to help or whoever it is that you've agreed to do something that you've engaged with your little people pleaser stuff yeah you come back to yourself maybe you come back home or you know you come back to yourself right where you're in your comfort zone and you're so pissed off like it's like you hate yourself because you know deep down that you want to say something you know deep down that you want to express yourself i see you as someone who is in like a dome right and you want to break out so bad you know how to break out you know exactly how to break out what to do what to say how to behave but there is something blocking you there is literally this like glue that every time you try to break out of this dome you can't get out i am here to help you break the heck out of this dome because I know you, I know you deep down, I know you're not really a people pleaser, I know you're not really that nice girl, I know you know how to set boundaries, but you don't do it out of fear, you don't do it because the people you want to set boundaries with, you are scared of conflict, I'm here to tell you, stop being afraid of stepping on people's toes, if you being yourself, if you being true to who you are means that you step on someone's toes, means that you upset someone, my friend you've won the game, but I'm going to tell you when you lose. You lose when you aren't yourself, when you say yes, when you really mean no, when you try to be this person that you know you're not, and the other person gets everything they want out of you. Why do you think all of your relationships in life are draining? Because you don't, you don't put that line in place to say, do you know what, this is what I'm okay with and this is what I'm not okay with. You don't put any line in place. There's no line in your life. There's no line. It's literally just you being okay with everything. And I need you to have a bit more respect for yourself. I need you to start seeing yourself as worthy, okay? Stop hating yourself. Because every time you people please, every time you continue to say yes when you really mean no, or every time you agree with someone because you don't want conflict, that's you kind of dying each time. Every time you say the word yes when you really mean no that is you dying that is a piece of you dying bit by bit i need you to break out of the shell you're in i need you to break out i need i want you to be free i want you to be the girl that is so confident in who she is she's so confident in what she believes she has values she has things she believes in and if someone else doesn't believe in it if someone else doesn't agree with it she doesn't bend what she believes in to then fit into their box she is herself and she stands on her truth that is exactly who i want you to be I know you. The reason why I know you is because I am a retiring nice girl. I want you to be free. 
I want you to be able to feel the freedom of saying no. I'm going to give you a worksheet, right? And it's going to have loads of different questions on it. If you don't practice this, and I don't just want to talk at you on the screen, right? I want you to interact with my stuff. So if you don't practice this, I promise you, you are going to be walked over for the rest of your life. Your life is not going to feel like your own. You're going to feel purposeless. You're going to live everybody else's life but your own. You were gifted this life. I need you to understand that. The people you're trying to please, they weren't gifted your life. You were gifted your life. The way you look, the way you think, the experiences you have had, that is yours to live alone. That is yours. That is not the people you're trying to please. So stop putting them so high up. These people that you put so high up, it's all in your mind, baby girl. It's all in your mind. I'm so passionate about this because I truly believe that you can change. I truly believe I truly believe that you can break out of this shell. I truly believe that the shell is stupid to begin with. Like you created it. You know, people treat you how you allow them to treat you. People treat you based on how you say they can treat you. And you don't even need to verbally say, oh, you can take the piss out of me. You don't need to verbally say, oh, you can take the mick out of me. You just need to show that in your actions in your inactions as well, the things you don't do and the things you don't say. Sometimes it's the things you don't say that make people take the piss out of you. So I'm here to tell you, I'm here to try and shake you, wake you and break you so that you can be formed into a completely, you know, a butterfly, right? It starts off as a cocoon and then eventually it has to grow out and come out of its shell. And that is you, you have personality, you have opinions, you have thoughts, you have things you disagree with, and you need to share that with the people around you so they know you are not one to be taken the mick out of. You are not agreeable. You are not someone to be walked over. You are someone with a life. You are someone with experiences. You are someone with personality. And if you don't express that to the world, the world is going to make you its B-I-T-C-H. And I'm, I'm, I'm not looking to swear in this video, but I just truly want you to be free. That's it. So thank you for watching this video. Please take in what I said. I have the worksheet in my bio. Click on it. Use the worksheet. Answer the questions, okay? You can follow me on Pinterest. You can follow me on TikTok. On Pinterest, I have a very specific board that is for you. And it's called Nice Girl Syndrome. You need to go on that board, save any pins from it that you feel inspired by and go over them every single day. Yeah, I love you. I see you. I know you and I want you to grow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next. I love you so much.